Hello, crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome to my stop on the November 2024 Oh So Inspired Collaboration Hop. Each month, I host the Oh So Inspired Collaboration Hop here on YouTube, and I get together with some of my crafty friends, and we take the same inspiration piece and create something new based upon it. Sometimes we might take the color palette, the layout, the theme. As you hop along today, you're going to see a wide variety of finished projects based on this month's inspiration piece. Before I tell you what that is, I want to tell you how you can hop along. Down in the description box below, I have a link to a playlist, and you can just click on that and go and see everybody's videos one right after the other. It's just a one-stop shop. Now, if you want to go to individual channels, everybody is also linked below. And at the end of this video, an end card will pop up to the playlist, trying to make it easy peasy for you. This month's inspiration is up on screen now, and it was created by Heidi C, who is at Stampin' Heidi over on Instagram. You can find this original piece and follow her if you don't already by clicking on the links in the description box below. I love so many things about this card. The fact that it has a unique color palette with that pop of pink. It's leaves, it's fall, some of my favorites. So what I decided I'm gonna do is kind of recreate the layout, but I don't have the same stamps and exact colors that Heidi did. So today for my stamps, I'll be using the Gina K Designs Autumn Silhouette stamp set. I'm not sure if this is still available. If it is, I'll link it down in the description box. And for my colors, which I took inspiration from that photo, I got out sweet corn, cinnamon, candy corn, and dragon fruit from Tailored Expressions. As I get into the process, I will tell you about other products and tools I use. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! I'm going to get started with some free range stamping using a stamp block to create my background which I cut a piece of white cardstock to three and a half by four and three quarters. For the first leaf I'll be stamping in dragon fruit ink and using the largest leaf from the set. When I do free range stamping, I like to put a piece of scrap paper on top of my foam pad just so that catches any stray ink. This also allows me to test my stamp before I stamp it onto my cardstock piece. So once I've done the test, I go ahead and ink it up again and stamp three times, kind of rotating my stamp and putting it in a triangle shape onto my piece of cardstock. Before I put that stamp away, I do want to stamp one more on a scrap of white cardstock, and this I will end up cutting down later for the focal area. For the second ink, I'm going to be using candy corn, and I choose kind of the next smallest leaf for this color. I do the same thing with the triangle shape, and one thing I didn't mention earlier is I do usually try to have at least one part of the stamp bleed off the edge of the cardstock. I continued filling up that background with leaves, first using the sweet corn ink and then moving on to cinnamon. And before I put my cinnamon ink away, I got out the sentiment that I'm going to be using for my card. For this one, I chose my heart is filled with gratitude. Before I move on in the process, I did want to stop by with a special bonus giveaway opportunity. If you are a channel member, as a special thank you for your support, I would like to give you the chance to enter to win this card. Check out the membership tab today for more information. Off camera, I prepared a top fold dragon fruit card base and I created a piece of white cardstock to go on the inside for the personal message where I also stamped one of those leaves. I also cut a mat for my white piece that was three and three quarters by five. And from the middle of that, I die cut a circle. And to add a little extra texture and to go with that natural feel, I embossed this with a wood grain embossing folder. 
Now, since all of the pieces are ready, I can start assembly. The first thing I did was add my stamped piece to the yellow mat, and then I was going to add this to the card base, but I remembered, wait, I need to add my circle. So I put some adhesive on the back of that, and I wanted the edge to fall off the left just a little bit. So I got that place where I wanted it, and then I brought in a big pair of nonstick scissors and cut off the excess. Then I could finish adhering that to the front of the card, just trying to get a nice even border all the way around. Once the front was all adhered, I added the personal message piece to the inside. Off camera, I fussy cut my pink leaf and I cut down the sentiment to a skinny rectangle. To add some extra dimension to the card, I did put foam tape on the back of each piece and then I spent some time figuring out where exactly I wanted them to go. Once I liked the layout, I pulled the release paper from the back of each and before I put the pieces back on the card, I did go ahead and put some liquid glue on top of the foam tape. What this does is it just gives me a little bit of wiggle time so I can adjust the pieces if needed before that foam tape sticks down permanently. To finish the card off, I brought in some dark brown gems to kind of go with the cinnamon ink I used on the card front, and I scattered five around that focal leaf. And here's a close-up look at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I was inspired by Heidi C to create today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now don't forget to visit the rest of the videos on the hop. I know that everybody would love for you to stop by, see what they created, and leave them some love. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.